everyone so I'm going to be doing a um, fast full face makeup look so when I wear makeup and I don't usually wear makeup when I go to work I mean like I roll out of bed put clothes on and then I go to work well I eat breakfast and then kind of scroll through <laughs> some websites and then go to work but wearing makeup every day is not one of my prior priorities makeup is supposed to make you feel better about yourself and it's not supposed to be a hindrance so for me, um, having to put on makeup every day all, and wear it all day, that would be a complete hindrance of what I want to do and how I want to live my life. So I kind of say, nope, and never really wear it. Wear it. So that's why I like doing uh, YouTube, because it's like the only place where I actually wear makeup most of the time, and sometimes when I go out to party. But <laughs> makeup is supposed to be fun. Makeup is supposed to make you feel better about yourself. And once it becomes a job, instead of an optional thing to do every day, to make you feel comfortable about yourself and more... Uh, more self-assured and more confident than it's a problem so you never ever have to wear makeup to please anyone if you like wearing it wear it if you don't like wearing it don't wear it so that's how it is so but here we're gonna make a small little makeup uh, tutorial so when I do wear makeup I usually just wear powders and I have a bunch of stuff here so let's do a quick look so I actually see a lot of like makeup for reviews, a five minute makeup challenge or something like that. Yeah, all my makeup routines are five minutes because I do not want to be bothered. So first I'm going to go in with my Eraser Eye Instant Anti-Aged Eraser Eye from Maybelline. And so this is, I usually always like to go in first with a concealer. I like to pat it underneath my eye, so in a V shape, V as a here. Uh, on my eyelid and then I also like to put it on my forehead, down my nose, cupid's bow, chinny chin chin and then also the other eye and then when I'm done just patting it on with this applicator I like the applicator then I just take my finger and put it all in and uh, in my opinion fingers are your best tools you don't really need anything besides your fingers just use your fingers because you're used to using them and you know how to use them the best so I'm just gonna put everything in and then be right back okay so I patted it all in hopefully I look a little bit less tired who am I kidding? I work in a medical field. I'm always tired. It's like a perpetual state of being by this time. So now I'm going to take one of my brushes. This is an H&M brush. I made a video about all these brushes, if anyone cares. And I'm just going to take my concealer and rub it in, rub the brush in the conceal. It's not a concealer, it's a foundation powder. Foundation powder, I'm going to just take it on my brush and pat it, pat all the concealer in on my face so hopefully it wouldn't bunch up so you can also use like white powder or banana powder or whatever you want to layer this up so you're just layering it a bit more up on the places where you put concealer i poked my eye myself into an eye with this one so that was super fun and uh, just you putting it a little bit more on on the places where there's concealer before you go in with your whole onto your whole face with the same foundation. It's a foundation powder, not a foundation, not a concealer. It's a foundation powder, foundation powder. So taking a kabuki brush or, you know, you never have to use the brushes people show you, just use what you have, use what you want. So taking a big, big fluffy brush and putting foundation all over my face, I'll be right back. Okay, so finished with this one. So I don't know if it shows up or not, but it makes me feel like I've done something at least to make my um, face look a bit more uniform and not red blotchy and so on and so forth. So taking a brush, another brush, you know, if you wipe your brushes off, you can just keep using the same brush over and over again. Like who cares? It's your makeup. Just to... I broke the brush. Oh, still gonna use it don't care so going to take it and uh, bronze off my face it's a bronzer bronze off my face basically so on my cheekbones underneath my chin on the perimeter of my face and down my nose really slightly so it's just like down the nose so be right back and hopefully I'm probably gonna fix my brush as well when you're back <laughs> Okay, so I added a little bit of definition into my face, onto my face with um, uh, 
downplaying the darker parts of my face with the dark powder. You know, you don't have to take makeup super seriously. It's supposed to be fun. If it's not fun, then why are you doing it? There are so many more important things in life to worry about than just perfect makeup. So don't worry about it. So taking a little bit of blush. This is from Essence 90 Summer Dreaming. It's so old. I don't even see the writing on the front anymore. So another big fluffy brush and smiling and just passing it on my cheekbones. So blush is on. It's not supposed to be very noticeable, a little bit goes a long way, so always a little bit goes a long way. You never have to overdo it with anything makeup related. So going into my little highlighter, this is like a single eyeshadow that's just like really, really bright. See, like really, really bright. So it's from Mio, it was three euros and just taking a little brush and putting it on the highlight of my face. So on the tops of my cheekbones, going up, making a small triangle here, going down from my nose, a little bit on my forehead, nosey, cupid's bow, chin and other side as well. So it's barely noticeable but it's there and that's what I think a good highlighter looks like because you don't have to be blinding you blinding all the time. It kind of if the only thing people see from you are your drawn on eyebrows and your blinding highlight now that's a problem because they're supposed to be your, seeing your pretty pretty face. So now doing the brows, taking a little bit of clear gel that is not very clear anymore but you know what still working with it. I'm I don't usually throw out products ever unless they break or unless I I use them. So yeah, that's this is what clear things look like in the end. If it was in a opaque packaging, you would never know. Put some clear gel on my eyebrows and just comp them through. And now taking a small small brush it doesn't have to be slanted just a small brush is good enough and actually taking my bronzer again and going in to my bronzer and with this going on my eyebrows and defining my eyebrows a little bit more and this is what i like actually like to do you i comb through my eyebrows first with a clear gel make them stick on nicely and then i put on the same color as my bronzer because it's all over my face anyway and I don't want very much eyebrow, I just want to define them a little bit. I don't want to draw them on because Instagram eyebrows are one of the most awful things I ever know in life. Sorry, I just don't like them. So doing my eyebrows with a little bit of uh, clear gel and a little bit of bronzer. And those are my eyebrows so I'm actually not going to do anything with my eyes because I have some few products I want to play with and when I'm already filming I want to film a bunch of videos because you know what once I sit down I don't have a lot of time to sit down and film anyway I kind of have a life <laughs> outside of YouTube I work full-time in, in the medical field so yeah you think how much free time I actually have so this is what my fast makeup routine looks like, just doing the face. It adds a little bit, it doesn't add a lot, but that's how I like it. Makeup is supposed to bring out the inner beauty in you. It's not supposed to make you completely over. You know, a little bit goes a long way. And if you want to go completely out of it, then have fun with it. I love going completely crazy as well. But this is what I do if I just want to wear a little bit of makeup, but not a lot. Quite fast, quite easy to do. You don't really use a lot of powders. You just kind of hide a little bit of things that you want to hide and uh, add a little bit of what you want to bring out. At the same time, it's nice. It's really downplayed and it looks extremely natural. So thank you for watching me. I hope you... you didn't get annoyed or pissed off by my weird comments but I can't help myself about those yeah as you can imagine I don't have many friends in life <laughs> so thank you so much for watching my little video and uh, thank you what else but thank you and I hope I gave you some interesting things
tips to think about and I can't wait to play with new products uh, on my eyes I love playing with eye products so please come and watch me playing with those as well so thank you and bye bye <laughs>